<sighs> okay. <clears throat> you. Okay. Look at that. All right, well, we made it back and we got ourselves two Ender 5 S1 machines and one Ender 5 Plus. It's a little bit older and it's looking pretty rough, but the S1's got potential. So, I think before we talk about mods, upgrades, and our plans, we should probably figure out if these things even work. So I invited Mikey over, we're gonna power them on, home them out, see if we can get our first Benchy boat off of them, just in the condition that they're in now. Rather unfortunately, the Ender 5 Plus, it's looking pretty rough. Therefore, we started with the crappier of the two S1 machines. It'll go home. Nice. We don't have any film in. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? Just stick her in there? I It keeps messing with me. Still no schmoo. Yeah, that's uh... It feels like it's tugging on. Yeah, well, well it feels like it's tugging on, it doesn't feel like it's pulling it in. We'll give her a little bit. It's trying. Give her a little push. <laughs> Help her. Just, there we go. I think it's like, we got schmoo. It feels like it's going back. There's some schmoo. There's something coming out of the end. Oh yeah, look, we got red. Nice, we're gonna okay. get a banshee, dude. Okay. And we did. With minimal effort, we got a benchy boat printed on the crappier of the two S1s. From henceforth, dubbed Legless by Mikey. Okay, on to the brand new looking S1. We got schmoo. Yes, we got schmoo in there, boy. Cool. We're schmooing. The boat uh, came loose from the plate. All right, so we managed to get our baseline benchies. The two S1s are functional, just in the condition that we got them in. So what's the plan? Well, since Mikey has little to no experience 3D printing or messing with 3D printers, I'm gonna set him up with the nearly brand new Ender 5 S1. He's gonna take it home, and his homework assignment is to get some prints under his belt, get familiar with the machine, get familiar with the slicer, and... I think by the time he gets back, he'll be ready for his first mod. <sighs> legless. So Legless is going to stay here with me. I'm going to make the necessary repairs. I'm going to try and get it back to a stock functioning condition. And then hopefully by that time, Mikey will be back and we can start on these mods or decide what mods we want to do. So my main question I'm trying to answer with these series is, do machines like these just belong in the garbage? or? Are they worth investing into? Right now, you can get a modern Core XY machine for anywhere from three to four hundred dollars. So, if you got one of these sitting on your shelf, is it worth investing fifty, hundred, hundred fifty dollars into, or should you just go ahead and get the the new Core XY that just works? Let's find out. <laughs> 